So I really think we need to start reconsidering how we look at LinkedIn ads. We need to completely relook at them. It's not just LinkedIn ads, it's marketing as a foundation. I'm just gonna re relate this back to LinkedIn ads specifically, but we need to start looking at it and rethinking it. We're so stuck in our like how HubSpot or how Salesforce or all these kind of main people who've educated the whole marketing you know, industry over the past 10 years have looked at it is kind of getting old school and we need to reconsider. We need to be, as marketers, actually think about it from a humanistic approach. And what that means is we need to start thinking on a human level, like how what's the experience of people as they go through our funnels and through our systems, rather than just thinking about data and numbers and metrics. And this is the big point I wanna make and what makes us very different as an agency. We try to look at the individual experience going through a process and try to emphasize how do we feel when we go through a process and what do we want? How is demand really created? The current way that demand is created or the current system that people do, the current ways people run um, paid social or paid media is by basically just sending tons of traffic to gated content or to even worse, to sign up to a demo, bottom of funnel, do a free trial, sign up to demo. This is out the gate cold and it doesn't make sense because imagine you've never heard of a company and they're straight away saying, do a demo, do a demo. It's even harder for less branded companies which are sales led and they're not product led they're sales sales led and this is what we've been you know told to think that everything has to be pushed through sales and this is what i want us to rethink even sales led businesses should actually now be looking more and more into marketing led product led and of course you might need a little bit of a touch point of a human but it's becoming less and less important in 2022 and beyond like this is old school way of thinking so the current system is that we send we just drive with linkedin ads and paid social generally we just drive people to gated content to get leads to get mqls and just that's all we care about. People assess how well I'm doing based on my cost per MQL. How many can I drive on a monthly basis based on the budget? And that's the main metric they're looking at. What I think we need to start looking at is widening what we're responsible for. And this as an agency is what I do personally. As a, as a um, company, I'm looking at revenue metrics. How much revenue are we driving? and specifically even like the front end metrics. So the middle metrics become less important. This sounds completely mad, but it's actually more and more becoming true. The reason why we need to look at the revenue metrics is we need to take responsibility over revenue um, revenue production. Like how much does our channel create in revenue? Not just MQLs and uh, leads and this kind of stuff, like revenue. Because if we're driving tons of MQLs and they're converting at a really low rate and sales are just running around chasing all these really low intent people, then that's just that's just not working. We don't want to be analyzed whether our success is based on MQLs. We want to look at revenue. Are they converting well? I would rather drive less MQLs or less um, leads and have higher conversion rates. So this takes me back to driving demand. Like right now, the system is based around sending a ton of traffic to get MQLs, to get leads, to gated content or do a demo, just forcing people to ramming it down their face, do a demo, do a demo, sign up to this content. The problem with getting, for example, the content one, which is a little bit better than just doing demos, but when I look at loads of ad accounts, they're all just do a demo, do a demo. That's just not gonna work, and I'll go into that in a minute. <clears throat> but the first one is content leads. This is what most ad agencies do, and it's, again, old school. It's an old school way of thinking, and there are just so many better ways now than we, you know, the tools and the resources we have now are so different to even five years ago that we don't need to just drive um, ads, traffic to leads, and convert, you know, getting, putting all this pressure on sales to convert those leads into sales qualified leads or having an SDR trying to follow up and convert, you know, following them up on emails on the phone, trying to convert them. It's such a waste of time because LinkedIn and paid social is not like Google. It's a totally different mindset. Paid social, the intent is totally different. The intent is not where on Google, like on search, where there's a high intent. It's a much different type of intent. So we need to think about it in a completely different way. We shouldn't be driving leads. And the metrics we should be doing is actually thinking more about on platform. We should stop gating the content and driving leads. We should actually ungate it and just think from a perspective of a really good um, 
a content strategy to help people and to create brand new demand rather than just purely capture it. So how can we create demand which is not so reliant on driving low intent leads and having so much pressure on sales to convert? Well, we need to understand the difference between uh, creating demand and capturing it. The current systems are all about capturing existing demand. If you go to, if whenever I analyze an ad account, it's all about capturing demand and everyone's plowing all this money into Google ads, which is just a capture demand kind of platform, or they use paid social, they use LinkedIn with a search mindset, which is just looking, seeking out for the high intent people. But let me tell you that high intent market, the capture demand market, the people who are in the market for your service or product, is tiny it's we're talking about like something like one percent it might be up to three percent but more than often it's just like a tiny tiny proportion like one percent of your entire market is ready to buy now and the problem with targeting them firstly is that everyone's going for that with google ads playing so much into google ads costs are going spiraling out of control on google um, with google ads and even on paid social and the cold email everyone's attacking the you know capturing the demand that already exists. You've got outbound, paid social channels, millions and billions of money going into just targeting on Google ads, paid social, just to capture that demand. So everyone's fighting for the existing demand that already exists. Well, let me tell you, especially now in this kind of recessionary uh, landscape, economic landscape, we need to now more than ever create new demand. So Currently, the whole system is based around capturing demand. Our attribution models all reward the capture demand things. But well, you know, if we create demand on a platform by creating content, people go to Google. They type in Google the company name, and Google gets attributed as you know the um, one with the last touch, and therefore people plow more budget into Google. But this is wrong. We need we need to understand how demand is created rather than just purely captured. Um, the second reason why that one targeting just that one percent doesn't make sense is because everyone's going after it of course but also you're going to be treated like a commodity at this point if that person's searching for a vendor more than likely they already have a vendor in mind and it's probably the vendor who helped them go from not really understanding the problem they have and helping them along the buyer's journey before they even became in market for your service or product so they probably have someone in mind already which is they probably already know that this is um, they already have like at least one, if not two or three companies they're already focusing on. So they will, they'll be in the market for those three, or they might literally just have one. They might be in the market and they already know because that one company has been creating amazing content and built, brought them from not really understanding it to fully understanding how important it is and how to handle the solution. So they became in market based around one company's education potentially. So they're already gonna choose that company and they're not price conscious, or if they are, then they're just gonna treat like a commodity. And that's the problem. So what we really need to do now is actually start thinking about how demand is created from a humanistic approach. And that in psychology means we need to think like humans, not like data and metrics and just thinking everyone's another number. We need to really think from a humanistic approach and understand the journey, the buyer's journey of people. How does it work? And then we can scale that, of course. So if you look at any market, you first thing I would do is analyze your specific market segment and understand the buyer's journey and the way we can do that is by either interviewing existing com customers or um, going out to the market and just doing some kind of research if you can talk to customers that's better so that's the first thing i would do is just understand what information they need to drive them through a buyer's journey but if you look at the buyer's journey more in a general kind of way you start with people who firstly don't even know they have the problem you, um, you you have a solution for your whole service and product, you're probably solving some kind of problem. They might not even know about the problem or they might know about the problem, but they might not know of the magnitude of the problem and why it's important. So the way we start is by creating demand, is by going all the way back to these people who are not in the market for it. They might never be in the market for it if you don't help them along the way. And what we need to do is educate them with content um, not gated, just give them content from your company, educating them about why the problem is important and why they should prioritize their budgets to, you know, allocate some budget towards the problem, solving the problem. So it's all about 
um, it's all about education about the problem. Why is the problem you solve important? And we need to then bring them over so they start realizing, wait a minute, maybe this problem is really important and I should start focusing on trying to tackle it because I'm now I'm starting to understand that if I don't solve this problem in the future, it could become really big, could become a much bigger problem than it is. So I'm going to prioritize it. So we're now bringing a whole new level of people to the next stage. And that next stage is people who are problem aware, but not solution aware. And here, most people go wrong where they start just cramming down uh, branded messages to these people. Check out our case studies, check out what we're doing, check out this. This is not the time for that yet. This is where demand is the most scalable. I'm gonna give you an example. Um, so they have a problem, but they're not solution aware. I run LinkedIn ads, for example. So let me show you an example. This is where my market is, Could I'm gonna create brand new demand. Most people in my market already have a, their problem is demand. They need more demand. They don't have enough demand. So they're trying to work out how do we create demand? They're problem aware. They know that demand is their problem. So how do we do that? Well, actually they don't, I shouldn't be educating them about me, and my company. I should be educating them about my industry category or segment about LinkedIn ads because I have actually alternative industry competitors which they will be allocating budget to. So for example, they might be thinking, oh, I really understand SEO. So I'm going to allocate all this budget to SEO and that's how I'm going to solve my problem demand. Or they might be thinking Google ads is the best way because it's high intent and it's, you know, don't do Google ads. I can go, I'll make another video just about this. But yeah, they might be thinking Google ads. They might be thinking SEO, maybe Facebook and Instagram or TikTok or, you know, there might be outbound. Okay, we're going to hire a bunch of SDRs and salespeople. That's all part of solving their problem of demand. They can go in so many different directions, but it's our job, my job now as a company, to educate them of why actually LinkedIn ads is specifically really good if you're this type of company with this kind of problem. So your problem is demand and you're this kind of company. If you have, if you're this type of company, LinkedIn ads are potentially the best solution, much better than Google ads, I can tell you that, much better than SEO potentially, because SEO might actually have um, the wrong types of people searching and it's a lower, you know, it might have a high intent of people searching how to solve a problem, but it might not be the VP of marketing who is, you know, or the VP of sales or, you know, the CEO who's actually doing the searches. It might be the wrong demographic trying to understand and educate themselves. So SEO might be, it, SEO could be potentially amazing as well, but it could not be as well. So therefore we need to go to paid social and potentially LinkedIn ads. So I need to educate this problem aware but not solution where people, why my industry segment, i.e. LinkedIn ads, and my indirect competitors, SEO agencies, and uh, all the other Google ads agencies are my indirect company, why that's not a, their best solution, and why LinkedIn ads is actually the, by far the best solution. So my whole education there is not about me and my brand, it's about why my market category is a great solution for that problem. So now I'm creating brand new demand for my market category and they're coming from problem, from not being even aware of the magnitude of the problem to problem aware. In my market, most people are aware of that problem. So now they're problem aware, not solution aware. And now I'm bringing them into a solution where now they're thinking, hey, maybe I need some LinkedIn ads, maybe Google ads. It's not worth putting 100K budget a month into Google ads. Let's Let's try out LinkedIn ads. Let's put some effort into LinkedIn. Now they're in market, that's a brand new market. They were, you know, that's a brand new demand. A completely new demand is being created on this layer. And this is where, this is the scalable. This is how you scale a business. You need to create new demand rather than just fighting for the existing demand. And what happens when those people start transitioning into a place where they're in market and you're the one that helped them understand the problem and why LinkedIn ads are the best solution or your company, your SaaS product, your B2B, you know, um, service or product, whatever it is, how, why that solves their problem the best rather than other category um, indirect competitors, then they're going to see you in plain sight. They're going to be like, this is the company we need to work with because we've been educated through the process and they're not going to be price conscious. You can charge whatever you charge, whatever you're worth. And this, they're not going to be shopping around. They're literally coming to you. I find this all the time coming to me based around the content that they've um, consumed already. And I've helped them to understand the problem and why the solution is better. And they come to me and they're already saying, look, I already know I wanna work with you. I don't really care about your prices. And um, I've already feel really confident about you because I've watched all these videos because all the content I create. So this is how you create 
brand new demand. This is how you scale demand. So how does that relate back to LinkedIn ads specifically? Well, with LinkedIn ads, what we need to do is we need to st actually start looking at metrics which are ungated content. We need to start with ungated content and we need to come up with a really clever, solid content strategy. And the content needs to be focused on the problem, really teach, like educating people on the magnitude of your problem so we can bring more people into realizing okay maybe we need to prioritize this problem for 2023 or 2024 whenever it is and the next one is where the majority of the demand is created we need to educate why our solution category is good so this is where the content pieces we need to be creating regularly content pieces around that and this is when we're going to drive more people creating brand new uh, demand for our services and products. And then eventually with our LinkedIn ads, we can do the capture demand, which is what every other agency only does. So we can also do that eventually where we send, you know, do lead gen forms asking, you know, sending traffic to a demo page. But we only do that once they've got all this content, they've been educated about us. Maybe at this point when they've got all this knowledge, that's when we start feeding them case studies. We start feeding them testimonials. This is all the bottom of funnel stuff, but this is all ad agencies do. And what I'm trying to say is what we need to be doing is all that legwork up front. And of course we do that last step as well, but that's the easy part. That's the part where we're like, hey, are you ready now for a um, demo? And often they will just ignore the ad. And when they're moving into that market, when they are ready, the ad will be there and we can capture the demand. So that's how it works within LinkedIn it's, itself specifically.